Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be going over how to optimize Roblox to unlock the full potential of your PC or laptop if you play on a laptop. Now, these methods are going to improve your FPS and get rid of lag in general. But yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so go to the link in the description and download Park Control. And for those wondering what Park Control does, this is going to get every bit it can get out of your CPU to optimize it to its full potential while you're gaming. So this is going to improve your performance by a lot. So what you want to do is press and download Park Control. Now once you open up Park Control, you should be greeted to something that looks like this. You should get a bunch of settings here and what you want to do is select um, Bitsum highest performance and press make active. And then what you want to do is turn everything here off and set them all to 100 all of them legit all of them all four of these and then you guys can press apply and then you should be done i would recommend um turning this on so you can actually see it in the windows power option and press on ok all right so now using the same link as before to download park control we'll get a download process lasso and now i really recommend this program like i don't recommend this any more than anything else so what you want to do is download this and then open it up and what you want to do when you're here you want to go to main and then press on the active pro power profile and select bits on highest performance and then we're going to go over here to performance mode and make sure this is enabled so what you want to do now is just join a game now once you've joined the roblox game what you want to do is go back on process lasso and then now what you want to do is just look for roblox you can easily do this by just pressing r but yeah mine comes up here and what you want to do is right click on this and set the cpu priority to always on high and that's going to change the you know the priority to make it high uh, it's the same setting that comes up on Task Manager if you've heard of it before, but this one is going to make it every time you start Roblox, it's always going to instantly set this to it. Alright, so now what you want to do is search for Run on Windows Search, open that up, and then search for MS Config, and you guys can press OK. And now what you want to do is go to Boot, and then press Advanced Options, and then uh, tick the number of processes, and then just select this to the maximum amount of threads that you guys have, and press on OK. You guys can press apply and close out that. I wouldn't recommend restarting your PC yet because I'm still going to be showing you guys some other methods. So exit without restart. But what you want to do is restart your PC at the end of this video. So now I'm going to be discussing some stretch resolutions you guys can use on Roblox. I'm going to be talking about some resolutions that you can use for a low end PC, a mid end PC and like a high end PC. What you want to do is if you guys on an Nvidia user or an AMD user, for example, let's say you have integrated graphics for whatever reason, then just search display real quick and then go over here and then you guys can lower your resolution here to a lower resolution so if you play i mean if you're if you have an integrated graphics then i'm assuming your pc is pretty low and so what you want to do is scroll down and use a lower resolution like 800 by 600 12 8 by 720 now for the nvidia users what you can do is right click on your desktop press on nvidia control panel now what you want to do is go to change resolution press on customize and then make sure this is checked and then press on create custom resolution now if you play on like a mid-end high-end-ish pc what you want to do is set this to something like 1720 by 1080 this is a pretty good res that looks almost like the 1920 by 1080 which is a native one and uh for you guys that are playing on like a low-end pc you might want to turn this down to like 1280 this is pretty decent tw uh, 1280 by 1080 I'd say this is more on the mid-end side, but for you guys that play on lower-end resolutions, you can play on something like 800 by 600 maybe, or like 640 by 480, something like that. But a resolution I highly recommend for like mid-end PCs, even low-end PCs to be honest, 1400 by 1080 or 1050 as well. Um, 1440 by 1050 isn't bad either or 1080. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites. I usually use this resolution. Um, it's pretty good in competitive if you guys play, you know, competitive games, for example, FPS games even. This is pretty good. And what you guys can do is press test, press check here, and then press OK after. But, for example, the resolution I was about to apply is already created by um, NVIDIA. So, I can just select it over here. There's 1440 by 1080, 1400 by 1050. So, some of these resolutions are already... Um, gonna show up here so not everything will work but for the custom ones what you want to do is scroll to the top and then press on custom yeah also 1550 by 1080 is pretty good for mid-end pcs as well or high-end even but this is more on the stretch side 